Welcome back to a new episode on Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edu. So basically, in today's lesson, we'll be talking majorly on the relationship between fraction left and fraction lost. It must be noted, fraction left plus fraction lost is equal to 1. This is an equation that must be noted. Fraction left plus fraction loss is equal to 1. How do you solve for fraction left? How do you solve for fraction loss? So, for fraction left, to calculate for fraction left, it is by saying 1 over 2 raised to the power of n. This is fraction left formula. What is the formula for solving fraction lost? It is basically 1 minus 1 over 2 raised to the power of n. Now, you can see here for fraction left, it is 1 over 2 raised to the power of n. Yes, you have 1 over 2 raised to the power of n. So, fraction lost can also be written as... 1 minus fraction left because fraction left is 1 over 2 raised to the power of n and here it's 1 over 2 raised to the power of n so that is fraction left so if we don't to do this we can just simply do this and get our answer now the question you ask yourself now what is n n is basically t naught over t1 over 2 what is t naught t naught is giving time what is t1 over 2, which is t half? This is simply half life. So, after getting all of this, we just simply, when we ask the question, calculate fraction left or fraction loss of a reductive substance, we use this formula and we get answer. Now, let's quickly move over to the questions under this aspect. Now, let's quickly move over to the first question under this aspect. Now, the question says, the half-life of a radioisotope is six weeks. Now, we already know half-life is given with T half. And the half-life in this question is six weeks. If there are 512 grams of this radioisotope at a given time, determine the fraction of it that would be left after 12 feet and determine the fraction of it that would be lost after 12 feet. Recall, the normal time or the given time in this question is 12 weeks. Now, they are now asking us to calculate fraction left and fraction lost. Recall, what is the formula for solving fraction left? I said it is 1 over 2 raised to the power of n. What is the formula for solving fraction loss? It is 1 minus 1 over 2 raised to the power of n, or you say 1 minus fraction left. As I said, I explained previously. So, definitely, we call, how do we get n? It is by saying t naught over t1 over 2. What is the t naught? 12 weeks. Over what is the half life? 6 weeks. It must be noted that both of these times should be in the same SI unit. If, for instance, here is three months, we have to convert three months to weeks before we can put into the formula. We don't solve in different SI units. If we solve like that, we get a wrong answer. So 12 weeks over 6. So 12 over 6, that's our root 2. So n is equal to 2. So what becomes the fraction left? is equal to 1 over 2 raised to the power of 2. Okay, that's 1 over 2 raised to the power of 2. That is 1 over 4. Okay, that is 1 over 4. Okay, this is the answer. This is the fraction left. Now, let's calculate for fraction lost. And fraction loss is by saying... 1 minus 1 over 2 raised to the power of what? n. So what becomes the fraction 
lost. It becomes 1 minus 1 over 2 raised power of n. What is the n2 as seen here? So fraction lost is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2 raised to the power of n, which is 2. So let's just impute and solve. So basically, fraction lost is equal to 1 minus into bracket 1 over 2 raised to the power of n. That is 2, that's 3 over 4. 3 over 4. This is the fraction lost, whereby this is the fraction left. Recall, I said that fraction left plus fraction loss is equal to 1. That means when you are done solving to check if your answers are actually correct, you will add fraction left and fraction loss together. Recall, I said fraction left plus fraction lost gives 1. So what is fraction left? 1 over 4. What is fraction loss? 3 over 4. So 1 over 4 plus 3 over 4. I think that is 1. Okay. 1 over 4 plus 3 over 4. So that gives us 1. So basically, the answers to the question is actually very, very correct. So I believe now you can now have solve questions basically that is based on fraction left and fraction lost. Now, this question is for you. And basically, I just changed that uh, 12 weeks to 6 months. So you now, since the half life is in 6 weeks, or basically in weeks, what you are to do here, they say calculate fraction left and fraction lost. I believe now you understand the formula. But please, don't use the, don't just solve like that. You can see here is in weeks and here is in months. You are to make sure that both of them becomes or be in the same assignment. So what you have to do is just to convert six months to weeks. And six months to weeks basically is approximately 24 weeks. So you do well to solve it and get the correct answer. So I believe now you now understand better the concept of radioactivity on solving problems dealing with fraction left and fraction loss. If you like this video, do well to hit the subscribe button and share my videos to friends. Thank you very much and God bless you.